Hello everyone, welcome to Violet Adaze, Violet here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, what up? Today we are looking at Pablo Vittar's top 10 most viewed TikToks since 2022. I did one for Anita last week and I was like, why not do one for Pablo Vittar as well? So here we are. And also low key, this is 11 tiktoks but 10 sounds better in a title doesn't it anyways moving on before we get started i'd like to give a big shout out to the youtube channel kevin gahona on his channel you'll find funny and entertaining videos such as how to be a ninja asking strangers random questions on the street how to stop a robber and more so if you are in need of a good laugh check out his channel and subscribe he posts new videos every week and the link to one of his videos will be in my description box below and let's get into it what do you do on those days that you don't feel that like confident or fearless or powerful? I know this one. Out there? Uh, uh, pretend. Oh! Yeah. Make it. Pretend. I mean, why not? It's either that or cry myself to sleep. Who wants to do that? That TikTok trend, Instagram real trend, was going on for a long time. But um, she's cute or whatever. This one, the the sound is gonna have to be lowered because ain't nobody trying to get copyrighted. Pablo Vittar's outfits never cease to amaze me. This is like a schoolgirl cutout number. Look at that hair. Wait, I did not notice her hair. She is giving us Takashi 69 vibes. <laughs> she is colorful. She is the ring. She's like, taste the rainbow with my hair. Colorful hair, don't care. As Nicki Minaj says. Her makeup looks so good. I love it. And those nipple paste. See, I don't understand what they're saying. I don't get it. I don't speak Portuguese. So, but one thing I would say is she looks snatched. She looks, uh, as the drag queen likes to say, fishy. <laughs> she looks fish, tilapia, salmon. <laughs> she looks good. Guys, I know that I've said many times that I would love to see Pablo Vittar on RuPaul's Drag Race, and I would. And you guys are letting me know that apparently you guys are saying that RuPaul doesn't want her to be on RuPaul's Drag Race or something. Because she seemed like a really obvious choice. I know she's bigger in Brazil, but I feel like she has enough international stardom to appear on RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, she is the most perfect person to be a judge and panel. And I hope that whatever thing is going on that she's not going on for, I hope it ends soon so I can see her judge some of these people on RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, it just has to happen. It's just such an obvious choice. Look at that! Are those chaps? Are those called chaps? Like assless chaps or whatever they're called? Look at that crowd too. She got a huge ass crowd out there. When she's singing that song, it almost sounds like she's singing. Then it goes, you walk on the sidewalk. Remember, I'll be turning for each other. Lean On by Major Lazer and that other girl, M.O., I think. Tell me it doesn't sound similar. It does, right? Okay. It wasn't just me. Okay, we got a dancing video. So once again, since we have these videos that have copyrights, I'm going to lower it a little bit because your girl ain't trying to get copyrighted, if you know what I mean. What are those glasses? <laughs> she looks like a mom about to drop her kid off at a daycare. Just from here up. <laughs> those glasses are just a no for me. But I like the top. Celebrate Carnival with me and The Sims. Available February 3rd. Oh, okay. So this is like a Carnival promo video, guys. Speaking of Carnival. I was seeing so many celebrities post on Instagram about Carnival. And it looked like they were having the time of their lives. I remember I saw Winnie Harlow post. I, of course, saw uh, Issa post. That is definitely on my bucket list is to attend at least one carnival. Or a few. Anyways, moving on. Who is she laughing at? I guess she's trying to do like the... <laughs> you know the dance that people do at raves? I've been to a few raves myself, and you always see those girls doing those, like, those dances that my feet can never comprehend how to do. She's cute or whatever. Ooh, okay, this one is, she is doing Anita's song, Envolver, the hit song. I think 
she is gonna do the challenge in the airport. I cannot. They did it good, but when I see people doing dances in public places, I literally crawl into my skin. Like, I just feel like I get so embarrassed because I could never. So when I see other people doing it, I'm like, kudos to you for having the balls, the guts, the gumption to do it. But I could never. And kudos to them. They did it well, though. They did it really good. They're, that out, that booty was bootied. <laughs> that thing was singing. Imagine just standing at the airport and just see three people start doing that. It says celebrate carnival with me and the sims looks she looks so good here uh, eyebrows the hair the braid the loose braids the top the filter <laughs> this is one of the best i've seen pablo vitar look i'm not even joking at all i love how she looks here i love that little swoop on her forehead I love that hair. It makes me want to do red hair, even if we're not the same skin tone. This is another promo for The Sims and Carnival. Oh, she was going hard. They better have run her her money. She made three TikToks so far that I've seen. I am done. Ooh. So is that supposed to be Pablo Vitar in Sims? I think so. They did not understand the assignment. I don't know. I don't think that looks like Pablo Vitar at all. <laughs> that looks like some, like, random blonde haired woman that does not look like Pablo Vitar so I don't know about all that I didn't even know that the Sims still existed in honesty but that's pretty cool I hope they ran her her coins I know they got that Sims money so run Pablo Vitar her change her coins for Carnival we just get good old Pablo Vitar being her hot self here with the bra with the loopty bra with those abs with those shoulders with those arms with that long ass 28 inch hair Okay, chill Pablo. This is not the life of Pablo here, okay? It's not Pablo Escobar. <laughs> it's Pablo Vitar. Chill, chill. Take my money. Yeah, this is just the quintessential, quintessential, quintessential. I don't know how to say that word properly. Pablo Vitar being her Pablo Vitar self, looking hot with the long hair, with the 30 inch hair, with the bra, with something sparkly and abs out. Oh, and that wing liner. No one does wing liner as good as Pablo Vitar does. I'm convinced. Last but not least, this is our 11th video. Yes, I lied to you. It's 11 videos, okay? This is with her and Luisa Sanza. Queen Star. Ooh. Can we just take in this look? Now, let me paint you a picture. Imagine Pablo Vitar on the guest judge panel for RuPaul's Drag Race 2023, maybe? And she comes out in this. Does it just not fit in? It just fits. RuPaul, if you happen to be watching this video, please, aunties out here need to see Pablo Vitar on the show. And I need to see her in that guest spot on the judging panel. <laughs> oh, those nails. Imagine going to the bathroom with those nails and having to wipe your butt with those nails. Ooh. Wearing nails, you're not doing drag. Ah, okay. She said they're not wearing nails and not doing drag. Got him. I wish I could understand what they're saying. Wait, who is that? That whistle tone was not playing. Okay. What is this? This legit looks like a RuPaul's Drag Race promo to me. <laughs> and I love that dress that Luisa Sanza is wearing. Queen Stars. Oh! 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 Hold on. If this is what I think it is, and just so you know what I think it is, I think this is a drag queen competition show that is launching in Brazil called Queen Star. And if I am right, let me just look it up. In uh, this reality competition series from Brazil, 20 show-stopping queens battle it out for a spot in the country's newest 
pop drag trio okay so it's kind of similar to the RuPaul's Drag Race because they're all drag queens but they're fighting for a spot to become a drag queen pop group I pop up a time I was like if I'm not gonna get a seat at the table I'll make my own table and that she did okay that is sick I'm so proud of her good good job that's amazing I want to watch it for all you guys that don't know out there I'm obsessed with RuPaul's Drag Race I watch every season I know every not every queen that's a lie but I I'm I'm a, I'm a stan I might have to check out Queen Stars I'm happy I looked at that 11th TikTok see everything happens for a reason that was my video looking at Pablo Vitar's top 10 most viewed TikToks of 2022 if you like this video give it a thumbs up it helps me out with that algorithm guys i am chasing that youtube algorithm let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please subscribe because i am on my road to 50,000 subscribers i'm trying to make it there so if you subscribe it's free you're helping me out you're watching my video subscribe and with that being said guys i'll see you in the next one bye